The last section we have in this process is adding consignee information to our new active load. The consignee section can be filled out two ways. If we don't already have this consignee saved into the system, then we need to click on the green plus sign icon. All the sections with the red asterisks are required. After we are finished with all the consignee information, click Save. Notice this consignee didn't auto-populate in the text box. We now need to search for that consignee by entering the first few letters of their name and click on the correct one. If our consignee is already in the database, then just enter the first few letters of the consignee's name to find them. Once the consignee is selected, it will also auto-populate the results in the location text box. The date of when we want the load to be dropped off will be auto-populated to today's date. However, this can be changed by clicking on the calendar icon. It is important to choose dates and times carefully to ensure the load confirmation prints in the correct order. The remainder of the text boxes in the consignee section are optional. Description, type, quantity, weight, delivery notes, and purchase order numbers. Notice that we can add more than one consignee by clicking on the gray plus sign icon. ProMiles can calculate our loaded and empty miles after we've entered all the information needed above. Click the calculator to see the results. Click Save. 